If you're a producer or composer and want to focus on your arrangement, but still want lightning fast access to your mix, the new channel tab feature in Cubase 13 will allow you to do both without distractions. Let's check it out. These days, music production and mixing are intertwined. Many music producers like to produce and mix at the same time. And the channel tab in Cubase 13 allows you to do just that. So imagine you're working on a song production, you're still editing the MIDI, you're still tweaking the arrangement, but you still want to have access to your mix. Because let's say you added this amazing pad, but you want to add some filter because it clashes with your bass, or you might want to add some delay to the vocal channel. What you had to do if you wanted to do this, you would have to open your mix console and toggle between the project window and the mix console. Or another way would be to open the channel settings window. But now there's a faster way to get access to the mixing aspect of your channels very easily, and this is the new channel tab. Let me show you how you bring it up. You go here on the top and you click on this icon, and there we go. Now we have our new channel tab right here. This channel tab gives you everything that you need when it comes to mixing your channel and nothing that you don't. It's a very focused mixing view of each channel. So as you can see, I have my fader here and it's fully resizable so I can be very analytical with any fader moves that I do. I have my write automation, read automation. I can record, enable the track and I can monitor as well. Solo mute, everything is right there. And then we also have our our routing, our pre-section, our inserts, our channel strip, our EQ, and our sense. So for example, let's say I want to go to my clap here and I want to go to my pre-section. You will see that I have my low cut filter right here. I have my pre-gain, my phase reversal. I have my high cut filter. If I want to add EQ to my clap, I can just go here. And as you can see, now the EQ window pops up. We have our pre-section here as well. And we also have all our bands fully adjustable straight from this window. Now, when I'm done with my EQing, I just move my mouse and this is out of the way. So I can be very focused into my arrangement without having to open and close windows or toggle between windows all the time. The same goes, of course, for inserts. So I can go to my inserts and I can have access to all my insert effects. In this case, my EQ P1A and my Black Valve. And moving on, I have even instant access to my channel strip. So if I click on my channel strip, you will see that I can immediately see which modules are activated. And I can go, let's say, for example, to my vintage compressor. You will see I have a nice window popping up so I can immediately start tweaking my compressor like this. And then just as easily, I can move on to my envelope shaper. My tape saturation, I can switch it from tape to magneto, for example, very easily. You see the window is right there, but when I'm done with this, it just disappears. And of course, my maximizer, my gate, everything is right there. I then have a dedicated EQ section and I also have my send effects. So if I want to add some reverb, it's right there. I can do this straight away without going into the mix console or without opening the channel settings window. And the great thing about the channel tab is that it's fully customizable. So depending on your workflow or your screen size, you can change it and modify it exactly how you want. And let me show you how easy it is. If I right click on this area, first of all, I can expand sections exclusively. So for example, if you have a small laptop screen, this would come in handy because that means that I can open the pre-section and then when I click on the inserts, the pre-section will close. Or if you have a lot of screen real estate, you can of course deactivate this and now I can have my pre-section, I can have my inserts all activated at the same time. And if I go to setup sections, I can now choose which sections are going to be available. So maybe I don't want to have my EQ section right here because I have this nice EQ view right here, or I can completely turn the equalizer curve off altogether. And you can also rearrange the sections exactly how you want to. For example, if I want to have my send effects right after my insert effects, I can just go here to my sends, drag and drop. And as you can see, these update straight away right here. So it's fully customizable. I can show all of the sections or select only the ones that I need.
And all of this without ever losing focus of my arrangement. I can still be editing MIDI, I can still be editing audio, completely undistracted, but still have access to all the important mixing parameters. So this is the new channel tab in Cubase 13. I'm sure it's going to allow you to mix faster while being focused on your production. I'll see you in the next one and happy mixing.